Good morning, folks. We've got severe weather, a solar wind shift, an earthquake, information for those who are scared of the helium zone in our solar system, and more. But we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and we'll watch a very calm last 24 hours on our star. And FYI, while you do, the Enlil Spiral link many of you have stopped updating, but the one at spaceweathernews.com is updated and working just fine. As you might guess from seeing such quiet, there were no solar flares. The closest thing to eruptive activity we could see was a filament lifting and breaking open as it ascended the corona. Solar wind telemetry up next. Purple is the speed. It's dropping out now and geomagnetic activity is calm and calming, and expected to do so until the stream from the central corona hole arrives. Interestingly, as noted a few days ago, you can now see its connection to the northern opening, just a long lagging extension, and the southern corona hole system isn't coming in there until this weekend, having just crested onto the Earth-facing disk the last 36 hours. So folks, you may have heard about the helium. Well, the last two times the same people pulled this December gamma wave story, they had a couple tangents about the helium focus cone. And back on September 26th of this year, upon seeing the pattern building up once more, we decided to step in. Folks, I watched the December gamma wave fear-mongering turn into helium focus cone fear-mongering twice in a row, and now, here in 2016, it makes a trifecta. I have made this episode of Deeper Look public so anyone can go see it and see where the lies about scary helium originate, and just how much they had to enhance and lie about the real story in order to scare you. Top earthquake of the last day was a magnitude 5.9 that struck shallow in Japan. It did strike the alert zone there, but did not hit the magnitude 6 threshold to count for our system, so it's merely a noteworthy significant event. Flash flood in the Kongan port city on the West African coastline. Rivers overflowed. At least 50 people died. Meanwhile, to the north in Israel, heavy rains came down at levels not seen in quite some time taking out a stone wall from the very first temple period. Earth spot exiting South Australia, but not before making extreme conditions. Convergence still cutting up through the country today has its connection to the earth spot inches towards New Zealand. Weather Channel has updated their predictions for the new year. January may be brutally cold for areas already hating the January freeze. Worse than normal, and that goes for most of the winter and into the start of the spring, and if La Nina strengthens, just shift everything 900 miles southeast. Right now in the Americas, we've got a blizzard coming down the western side of the Great Lakes Low with another on the west coast, readying to hopefully dissipate after making landfall. Folks, observing the frontier is just 100 days away. We've got professors, top scientists, the observers' hangouts, and of course, the first full presentation of how we use all the earthquake factors together to forecast high activity zones. Learn more, and don't forget your free resources. People are finding that when they start using spaceweathernews.com as opposed to other space weather sites, they end up saying, why is it not set up like this on those other sites? Which is what I was thinking for years. More pressure and radar forecasts ahead of shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.